Muy buenas chicos, ¿cómo están? Sean bienvenidos. 0.8 segundos para que inicie la transmisión. Vamos a ver qué nos va a presentar Genshin. Bienvenidos al canal y espero os sirva y os guste el video. Hello, travelers. Welcome to Hello. the 4.5 Special Program. Dice, My name is Zach Aguilar and termino. I voice the male traveler. Today I'm hosting with... An old friend, right? Meowdy, everyone. My name is Julia Gu. I'm the voice of Kirara. Meow. And I'm Brittany Lotta, the voice actor for Chiori. I'm really excited to be on this special program with you guys for the first time. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Valeria Rodriguez, and I'm the voice of Sucrose. Also very excited to be here. Let's, Let's give everyone, everyone a chibi applause! <laughs> so cute. But seriously, this is an incredible crew, you guys. Now I'm even more curious to know about the contents of version 4.5. <laughs> Why don't we find Easy. out by taking a look Bonita at the version 4.5 trailer? Yes. Yeah. yeah! Let's go! Wow, I can't believe I'm putting the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands! I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, the more sober they'll become! I wonder if it could also be used to turn water into wine? Alternatively, a strength-enhancing potion could make it so that Pinewood could take down an Abyss Mage all on her own. How are we supposed to make a potion like that? The pain from walking on all that rough terrain. It was never there! With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day! Excuse me! Coming through! Coming through! Jerry, your... your shipment's here! Need a bit of letting out around the middle. No, just... Ran into a bit of trouble. It's up to me to decide who I want to be. I'm to cut my own path. No one can tell me what to do. Let's go, Tomato! Delicate has silk! Next customer! Espina's on the case! If you're in here, I'd like to return my outfit. What kind of rag are you trying to sell us, huh? You didn't get bought out by my competitors, did you? That's my idea. Black Beardox dice Dark Bedstir. Alguien que fije el mensaje. Esto va a ser rápido, ya por lo que estoy viendo. Literalmente ya terminaron lo importante. Jesús Olivero dice: Fija los códigos, jajaja, ja, ja, se me olvida, jajaja. Ja, ja. Blackbeard Dogs. Welcome back, travelers. I'm sure that everyone's keen to hear more about the new version. <laughs> Let's get on with it then. Unsurprisingly, our first bit of information relates to our newest character, Chiori. Woo! <laughs> huh? It's just a piece of fabric? Huh. Why was it in the box? Whoa! It's actually really beautiful. A professional designer like Chiori is very strict about her materials. She probably uses unique fabrics pretty frequently. Oh. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I thought that Chiori left a really strong impression at the Fontanalia Film Festival. Yeah, definitely. You could get a really good read on her based on how she dresses and the way that she talks. Ooh, I agree. She seemed firm and decisive. Like the kind of person who always says exactly what she means. Mm -hmm. I also get the impression that she's not afraid of going after what she wants. <laughs> yeah, it must have taken a lot of effort for an Inazuman to become so successful in the Fontaine fashion industry. Yes. Mm. I bet her success was based on a lot of skill and talent. Mm-hmm, you know it. You all seem pretty familiar with Chiori already, but you might not be aware about her combat abilities, so let's take a moment to appreciate her fighting style. Let's. Fighting. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to me to decide who I want to be and to cut my own path. No one can tell me what to do. Let's go, 
tomato. I am the cutting edge of fashion. Oh my god, she's so cool. <laughs> Have you seen her doll? It's so cute. You could say that she's a cut above the rest, Aww. if you will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I love her animations. They're so sleek. Yes. Yeah, super stylish. Major style points. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love her swords. They're super, super cool. I want to add them to my own collection. Did you see that during her burst, she actually crosses them over to look like scissors? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that. <laughs> Good catch. Yeah. <laughs> Observers often consider Giori to be an unconventional designer. She has a unique way of designing her clothes. Aside from using her own blades to cut fabric, she also uses an automaton named Tamoto. Her longtime personal assistant is always ready to help produce and model her designs. Tamoto is indispensable to how Chiori expresses her unique creative vision to the world. It's like she it has an aura that proclaims to everyone, this is fashion. <laughs> 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 yeah, totally. Chiori's found an ingenious way to incorporate her design-making assistants into combat, too. During her elemental skill, Chiori summons Tamoto to attack her opponents. She also performs an upward strike and deals damage to her enemies based on her attack and defense stats. Mm. Wait, wait. Yes, Chiori so made that automaton herself? Oh, it's so intricate. Se ve como Maybe she soporte. could expand into a new industry yes, if she soporte. wanted. <laughs> For sure. When her elemental skill is held, Chiori can adjust the direction of her dash to attack enemies from multiple angles. And as an experienced businesswoman, <laughs> Chiori knows how to capitalize on favorable conditions. <laughs> Chiori will summon an additional automaton when Tomoto is active and there are other geo constructs on the field. Huh. Okay. By unlocking one of her specific talents, Chiori can trigger special effects when using her skill or normal attack during the upward strike on her elemental skill. Ooh, interesting. So it seems like you can even switch your active character by using her skill. Uh -huh. Her little assistant seems to save her a lot of trouble. Oh, absolutely. Chiori doesn't like to waste her time on um, trivial matters. If someone tests her patience, then she'll end the battle with a strike as sharp and fierce as her personality. <laughs> Chiori may be a professional designer, but she's also really fun to watch in combat. For sure. Chiori doesn't think that fashion stops at appearances. It also needs to serve a functional purpose. When Chiori is in your acting party and any of your characters are wearing a unique outfit or a non-default wind glider, the whole team will have their movement speed increased. That's what makes her a true designer. Our travels will definitely be smoother when she's in the party and more fashionable. Uh, well... Maybe oh, not. Oh, yeah, oh. Chiori tends to run into oh, a lot well, of so, uh, trouble. Yeah, well, 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 it well. might be because of her blunt personality, but uh, unexpected no, 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 problems no, no, no. often arise, no matter how much yeah, she tries to so 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 I'm Dice. sure that a straightforward yeah, person like Chiori has her own movies. methods oh, of so getting well. herself out of those situations quickly. <laughs> it's possible. Chiori is an unconventional designer with a clear vision. She isn't afraid to go after what she wants, and that approach has made her very successful. Chiori will do anything to make sure the Chioria brand becomes renowned throughout all of Tibet. So she's always looking for ways to increase its exposure, such as participating in Fontaine Fashion Week. Hmm. Ooh, I bet she probably has to go all out on Fashion Week. Chiori's story quest, the Cesoria chapter, will become available in version 4.5. Travelers will be able to accompany Chiori as she confronts unexpected challenges during Vontain Fashion Week. How curious. Jesus what kind of challenges are they? Shh, we'll Dice. have to wait and see. La doble but suerte. I'm sure that Kirara Cristo will be Valdamel. there to help Chiori, being her Dice. good friend and all. Oh, I can't wait to see what kind of interactions they'll have. <laughs> I should mention that Chiori also designed Kirara's outfit. Oh, so Kirara is one of Chiori's clients. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. If you want to learn more about Chiori, then be sure to check out her story quest when it becomes available. Actually, travelers won't just be spending time with Chiori. Lynette's hangout event will also be available in version 4.5. After travelers complete her quest, they'll receive a special reward. The Fatometer. Ooh. Awesome. Oh, this is a pretty interesting tool. You can draw a random number from a hat when you interact with the Fatometer. So if travelers are ever stuck on a decision, they can use the fatometer as an interesting solution. Ooh. 
yeah, if you're farming for artifacts or enhancement materials in co-op mode, you might run into a situation where multiple people want to use the same character. Mm. But you can decide a winner by drawing a random number with the fatometer. It seems pretty convenient, right? Mm -hmm. For sure. Especially if you're as easily overwhelmed and indecisive as I am. <laughs> if you have a lot of content to explore, then you can even use the fatometer to decide where you should start. It could save you from going back and forth. <laughs> yeah. How about we try the fatometer and see which number it gives us? Ooh, Ooh, me first. Ooh, wait, wait. Para que have we decided what the numbers mean? Oh, uh, 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 how about the Whoever draws the largest here? number gets to introduce the next piece of information. Ooh. Okay. Though I think I'll be sitting this one out. I already got to introduce Chiori. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Oh. Ooh, that's rough. Yikes. Oh, my turn. Oh, you were so close. <laughs> well, it seems like Zack is the winner. Le va a salir away, mejor, Let's go. <clears throat> <clears throat> we'll have event wishes from Chiori and Chiori and Ito in the first half of version 4.5. A new five-star sword, Raku Misugiri, will be featured on the weapon event banner. Here's a small spoiler for you. The new five-star sword comes with a defense bonus. <gasps> so it's not just a good weapon for Chiori. It might also work for Albedo. <laughs> That's something that travelers will have to try out for themselves. Nervalette and Kazwa will also be the second half of version 4.5. Be sure to check them out if either of them interests you. Oh, and that's not all. It looks like we also have information about a new type of wish. The Chronicle ah, wish. Uh, Venga, eh, la mona, al yeah. Let me explain. A new type of banner will be available Obviamente starting from version 4.5. The, the, the Chronicled Wish, de de the chronicled wish no. banner will allow travelers to obtain a variety of characters such as Klee and Dilu. Nice. Oh. They'll oh. also be able to obtain weapons such as Hunter's con... Path, and Wolf's Gravestone. Whoa. No way. Ah, wow. Well, that's cool. 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 Wait, if so many characters and weapons are going to be on the same banner, won't it be kind of hard to pull for exactly who you want or what you want? Nope. Cristobal you can chart a specific course Dice, for the character or weapon that you want. Plus, it only takes a maximum of one fate point to guarantee your target. You're also guaranteed an item that matches your target type. For example, if you're targeting a specific five-star character, whatever Dice, you end up pulling is ese guaranteed to be a character. Diagonal, the same is true for weapon pulls. That's neat. No sé, no Seems like a great opportunity for travelers to make up for missing out on certain characters and weapons that they wanted. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. There's one thing that I have to clarify. Oh. These new banners will only feature five-star characters that have had at least three character event wishes and have not appeared on any recent banners. Mm. More details about the chronicled wish banners will be revealed in an official announcement. Be sure to keep an eye out if you're interested in it. Also, version 4.5 will introduce a training guide system to make it easier for new travelers to explore to VAT. We'll provide more details later on in the program. Okay, we just finished the event wish section of the program. Let's take a short break while we display the second redemption code. Awesome. Eh, sounds like a plan. Ooh. Black Beardox dice at 3 bdswtybkd Welcome back to the version 4.5 special program. Let's move on to the next bit of content. A bottle? Hmm. 
Judging from the shape of the glass and the color of the liquid, I'm guessing that the bottle has something to do with alchemy. Oh. And judging from our surroundings, maybe Mondstadt is also involved? Bingo. Huh. Next, we're introducing an event that takes uh, place yeah, in yeah, Mondstadt. Yeah, yeah. It's an alchemy event. Yay. As the city of Mondstadt continues to develop, Lama. its leaders are busy with planning for its future. The Knights of Favonius have always been conducting alchemy research, and they've been looking for a way to showcase their results. Lisa came up with the idea to open a potion shop. The people of Mondstadt can learn more about alchemy, and the Knights can better understand their needs. Everybody wins. Hey, that sounds super exciting. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Especially since travelers will get to run the potion Esa shop during this event. Copia de la oh. lanza de Forja de Fontaine. In the alchemical ascension event, travelers will need to cultivate herbs, brew potions, and sell their products to increase the shop's revenue and expand their business. So it's a management sim. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Travelers who build up the revenue and run the shop smoothly will be able to earn various rewards. Oh, nice. These include Primo Gems and a four-star polearm, Dialogues of Desert Sages. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Travelers can also look forward to meeting familiar companions at the shop. Travelers can scale their business even faster if they fulfill these special customers' requirements. Oh. Pero será mejor esa para Chevasi que me sirve. I'm hyped. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> That's all I have to announce about this event. What's the next bit of news? Hmm. I feel like we don't even need to introduce this Cristo one. Everyone can understand Dice, that our upcoming content is about se cats. Se canon de golpe lo que te paso like con Ule Black home. XD. <laughs> Julie has already ah. gotten in the character. <laughs> Hey, wait, wait, wait a second. Sí, sí, Sucrose con... also has animal ears, con... right? Ay, mm -hmm. Dios, con... She doesn't have a tail, hey, no. though. Oh. De golpe, so Sucrose isn't part cat? Ah, man, no no wait, pensando. really? She's not? Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> We've completely gone off topic. Let's get back to introducing the most important event, the Feline Fortress ah, Fertacy. The Traveler and Paimon have encountered all no sorts of gatos, strange coño, creatures venga. during their journey through Tavad. But this time... They've decided to take some time to visit the familiar cat's tail. Toma. Ah, that makes Queremos sense. Furro, Since they've been on the road for so long, there's no better way to relieve your fatigue than spending time with some cuddly cats. Mm -hmm. Cat lovers of Tevat. Unite! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to so be true. precise, this event doesn't actually take place at the cat's tail. Oh. A kind-hearted person recently prepared a new space for the cats to play to their heart's content. Eh, si Travelers simply need to set up fluffy ponerlo, feline homes for pelota, the cats, pelota, satisfy eh, specific eh, target requirements, eh, and provide the cats with their favorite food. <laughs> Only then will travelers be able to play with their furry friends at the Throne of Meower. But yeah. playing with cats can be a little tricky. They'll get angry if you do something that makes them uncomfortable. Just do your best. <laughs> Once travelers have become good friends with all of the cats, they'll be able to meet a special friend. Yep. And it seems like you're already a very good friend to the cats. Oh, no. Hey, you know what all this cat talk reminds me of? Mm -hmm. Card games. <laughs> In Tibet, they're pretty closely associated, right? I can definitely see travelers Charlo. returning to the cat's tail to play some genius invocation TCG after playing with all those cats. Play with the cats, play some cards, play with the cats, play some cards. Play some cards. Suddenly, I feel like there's not enough hours in the day. <laughs> you might be in trouble then. Version 4.5 is adding even more new cards, events, and challenges to genius invocation TCG for all travelers. Aside from playing with cats and engaging in card games, the developers la also la prepared some challenges that will give travelers the opportunity to show up their skills. Ooh. In version 4.5, travelers will meet two guard members in Fontaine. One of them is a genius inventor who rejected an invitation from the Fontaine Research Institute three times. Yeah, Whoa. Wow. Sure seems like there are a lot of geniuses in Fontaine. I wonder if that place has so many cool inventions. This genius inventor will lend the Traveler a remote cannon that he invented to take down a fearsome hilly churl rogue. Uh, I meant that the cannon will be used to take down slimes. <laughs> oh, that's cool too. <laughs> this game kind of reminds me of the marbles that we would play with when we were younger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. So, in this event, Travelers will remotely operate a turret to fire elemental shells at an endless horde of slimes! <laughs> Try to defeat as many slimes as you can by triggering elemental reactions. 
The more points you earn, the more rewards that you can obtain. Ooh. Yes, well, yes. Special ahorita. equipment will also appear on the field. Using them will net you even more points. Sweet. Okay, our next event involves a mysterious concoction called the Phase Potion. Oh, that's something that Jami developed, right? If I remember correctly, he's a researcher from the Amorta Darshan. Didn't the traveler participate in a bunch of experiments to help him with his thesis? Yep. Oh. He's made some improvements well, 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 since well, then, well, and well, he's waiting for someone to test them out. Hmm. <laughs> In previous challenges, you had to wait for yeah, the potion yeah. to take Entonces, effect. Cuatro, this time, travelers will automatically es enter time dilation mode when you enter the challenge arena. Uh, you can de... even take pictures when this mode is active. <laughs> Neat. Mm -hmm. de... Time will resume libro, pero... when you move or use any type of skill. You'll enter time dilation mode again once you stop moving or using your skills. Mm-hmm. Yep. Time will stop as long as you don't move after unleashing a skill. It's pretty sweet, right? <laughs> I'm sure that travelers will be able to take tons of cool pictures of their characters. Yeah, absolutely. Travelers will also need to focus on accumulating phase force during combat. Once you have enough of it, you'll be given an advantage that will help you complete the challenge. Awesome. Ooh. Also, the Leyline Overflow event will be returning in version 4.5, so right. don't miss out, you guys. Well, We've finished introducing all the events in version 4.5. Uh, next up we have... Uh, d wait a second, we've oh. just announced a lot of information, don't you think? That's true. Let's take a short break and look at the last redemption code before we continue. Yeah, that's a good idea. Then we'll see everyone on the flip side! See ya! See ya! Bye-bye! Vale, y ahora nos van a soltar la bomba. A ver si nos sueltan una bomba de, de la 4.6, vale? Es el momento para cerrar con broche de oro. Black Beardox. Menos Dice, que les valga tres pepinos. Cinco Kawabatsur. Que si le vale tres pepinos, pues ya ni pedo. Pero es el momento de sorprendernos. Una parte del streaming que es donde pone. Una que otra cosita interesante. Cristóbal Gamer dice: Después habrá que chequear cómo funciona Welcome ese otro back. banner. In addition to the new events in version 4.5, the developers also plan to fuse system optimizations. At 3 BDSWTYBKD, travelers will be able to view a character's talent upgrade materials on a character talent page. Hopefully, this helps everyone understand what materials they need in order to improve a character's skills. Remember the new training guide that we mentioned earlier? That's also a new feature that's coming to version 4.5. Travelers who are adventure rank 12 or higher and have completed the quest, Welcome to the Adventurers Guild, will be able to refer to this guide by accessing the Paimon menu or pause menu. This guide will provide enhancement goals and suggestions based on the levels, weapons, artifacts, and talents of your characters. It also takes your maximum world level into account. Hopefully, this guide will be helpful well, to travelers who just started no their journey into that. Yep, this guide was designed no, as a helpful resource for travelers who are relatively streaming. new to Tavat. There's so much to discover in Genshin Impact. I'm sure that travelers will eventually figure out the best system for them. <laughs> for sure. Exploring all those possibilities is part of the fun. Totally. Mm -hmm. So far, we've just been covering the in-game content. But we also have some external news to share. During oh, version 4.5, Genshin Impact will be a el... discovery channel to launch cabrón, benefit el... events that raise Caine. awareness about environmental conservation. Genshin characters hey, will serve as ambassadors for specific nombre, natural wey. landscapes, and they'll be embarking on a journey with hacen. all the travelers out there. Wow. That's so special. That is such a cool collaboration. That is I love it. <laughs> During version 4.5, travelers can also look forward el... to the release of the Chen Yu Veil OST Chale? album. Jadeite Redolence. The album will be comprised of two discs, which feature over 50 tracks by the Hoyo Mix team. It will contain music from version 4.4. It even includes the music featured in the Lantern Rite Festival and Shen Yun's Story Quest. Yes, so cool. no, I can't wait! <laughs> All right. 
Seems like we've delivered all of the information. Yeah, basically. Wait, does that mean that we've come to the end of the special program? <laughs> oh, already? <sighs> yeah. You're so fast. Exactly. It really did. Okay, but is anyone else super excited for the cat cafe? Yes. 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 <laughs> Obviously. Yes, absolutely. Immediately. Cats. 100%. 110%. I'm also really excited for everyone to meet Chiori. Yes. I mean, like, they met her, yes. but I want them to, like, meet her. Like, get to know her. Yes. Yes. See her cool sword scissor attack. So cool. Right? Yes. I mean, I'm a little biased, but, you know. I mean, I think it's fair. Fair. Yes, very fair. Thank you, thank you. I will probably end up spending a lot of time on the rolling crossfire event, too. Uh, yes, I will destroy those slimes. Destroy the slimes. I will. Gonna just roll with it then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I had to. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Bye, everyone. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, and guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bye. See you Bye. later. See Dice, Mio yo le teme al hacer spoiler XD. Lo que te dije. Bueno, pinche, aquí termina el programa. Venga. Vale.